moles. What you see here is a single sphere. Imagine if there were two spheres. That would mean the number of units of spheres were increased by one. You may be wondering, well, what does that have to do with moles? My answer to you is everything. A mole is a unit, and understanding that is the most basic thing you need to know about moles. A mole is a huge unit, and rightfully so, because it is the measurement of the amount of elemental entities that make up a 12 gram sample of carbon-12 atoms. With a number like that, look at what would happen to the spheres. The actual number is 602 sextillion, 214 quintillion, 108 quadrillion, 979 trillion, 663 billion, 699 million, 470,280. But it's usually shortened to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Let's put this into perspective. Say we want to find out how long the mole of seconds would be. Well, that's 1 times 10 to the 22nd power minutes, which is 1.6 times 10 to the 20th power hours which is 6.97 times 10 to the 18th power days, which is 1.91 times 10 to the 16th power years. That's still a huge number, so why not make it even smaller? The universe is approximately 13 billion years old, so the universe would have had to live this long 1,500,000 times just to make up a mole of seconds. Well, that's huge, but a mole of something doesn't have to be big. It can be small, too. This is a salt crystal. A mole of these would cover all of Texas over with three feet of salt. So a mole of NaCl ionic compound should be the same, right? WRONG! If you have a mole of this, it would amount to about 58 grams of salt, 10 teaspoons of salt. That's a big difference. So yeah.